All right, what I've got here is a, a highly advanced t integration technique that comes from an IB exam. I can't remember what year exactly, but it was relatively recently. But they give you uh, the thing that they want you to integrate in terms of X. They tell you what the final result is going to be, and then they tell you how to get there. They're telling you that X equals the 2 times the tangent of U is going to be your substitution. It's almost, again, it seems like one of those situations that's deceptively simple, uh, but because this is an IB high-level exam question, and um, it's, it's really, uh, you might find that there's some hidden gems in here that make this a little bit more challenging. But let's start and do what the uh, authors of this problem said to do, which is let X equal 2 tangent of U. Um, just, just diving in to the deep end, I take the derivative of both sides so that I get 2 secant squared U du is equal to dx. Um, so that when I have the integral of dx over x squared plus the square root of x squared plus 4, um, I can now write 2 secant squared u du, because this dx became all this crap you see here. And then the x squared is just going to become 4 tangent squared u. And then the square root of 1 plus 4 tangent squared u or sorry, 4 plus, that's the 4 right there. Well, isn't that convenient? Boy, it was really thoughtful of them to give us that value for x, 2 times the tangent of u. Now we can see all those 4s matching up quite nicely. So let's do some cosmetics. First of all, I point out that the 4 is in common, so I factor out the 4 and take its square root, it becomes 2. 2 times 4 is 8, so that's where the 8 tangent squared of u comes from. And then we have the square root of tangent squared of u plus 1. This gives us the uh, 2 over 8 becomes 1 quarter. We have the secant squared here. We have tangent squared there and a secant squared. And a lot of stuff going on. Well, right here I see the secant squared u, and then I see here the secant squared square rooted, which is just the secant of u. So then we can get secant of u, which we'll divide out with one of the secants in the numerator. giving us 1 quarter cosine squared u over sine squared u times 1 over cosine of u. Where did all this stuff come from? Well, the secant became 1 over cosine, and the tangent became uh, uh, the tangent became 1 over sine squared over cosine squared, which when I reciprocate, I get this. These things can divide out. So now we have the cosine of u over the sine squared of u. I'm going to let x be the sine of u. D, or V rather, be the sine of U. Then DV is equal to cosine of U du, which gives me an easy to integrate function, and I put the sine of U back, and then I put the X back. Now this is actually, uh, the, everything that I've done here, I went really fast through this chunk because this is a, a review of some of the basic fundamental U substitution algorithms. Notice there are two substitutions, the first with X in terms of U, and then V, in, or U in terms of V, uh, so we had to do two substitutions to be able to get here. Now that I have that, um, I have to actually get the sine of u so that it's back in terms of x, which is tricky because I know that the 2 tangent u is equal to x, but I don't know what 4 sine of u is in terms of x, so I'm going to have to know a little bit more about my trig. So as you can see, this problem starts off with just a simple substitution, but it requires A, that we know some basic trig identities, B, that we can clean up using our trig identities, C, that we can use substitution again, and then D, that we know our trigonometry well enough to replace the sine of u in terms of x. So here's what we know. x is equal to 2 tangent of u. I'm going to make solving for uh, tangent of u, tangent of u is equal to x over 2, which informs a right triangle. If I had an angle u, x over 2 would be the tangent of that angle u. Well, I can write now the sine of u is going to be opposite x over hypotenuse. So I just have to figure out what that hypotenuse is going to be. Thank you, Mr. Pythagoras. The hypotenuse is 4 plus x squared, according to the data that I have here. So... The sine of u is going to be x over 4 plus x squared. So instead of negative 1 over 4 sine of u, it's negative 1 over 4 times x over 4 plus x squared square root plus c. I'm going to multiply top and bottom by the square root of 4 plus x squared so we get something a little bit cleaner. And as you can see, it turns out to be the very thing that the authors asked you to find. 
And when I do this work, I just do it, and then I hope and pray that when I'm done, I get something that looks like that. Um, you can actually use this as a guideline to make sure that you're at least feeling like you're on the right track. But as you can see, um, we can go from the sublime to the ridiculous when it comes to use substitution and integrals and trigonometry. So that's what this is for. I hope you found this informative. Thanks for watching.